I don't know why I'm getting so emotional <laughs> talking about this. My name is Danny Gavigan, and I play Happy Lawman and Stanley Kowalski in The Great American Rep. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Places, Please, Places. We knew it was gonna be a huge undertaking. We never doubted each other. I just had all the faith in the world and I couldn't wait to do this. That was important, just having a faith in each other. And it's been carried on through and just the delight of being surprised by everybody every day. But it's a long run and you know, we have to stay loose and we, we have to keep it fresh and we're maintaining what we found, but there are these little hints of of moments where we're surprising each other. Last Sunday, we were the matinee, and he's like doing this beautiful, angry, spitting action. Lights come up, he spits a chunk of food out, and a big piece of it hits me in the side of the face. Just like, I was so mad. There's an emotional muscle, there's a mental muscle, and there's physical muscle. And you carry all of these characters' experiences throughout your body. It's very easy to walk off stage and take it with you. I'm finding tension in muscles that I didn't even know I could have. It's been about taking care of ourselves and taking care of each other and being supportive and being sure to, to hug each other when we go off stage. Vintage bowling jacket, most expensive item in the whole show. Typical day, I'll get up, I'll go to the gym, do like a light, just simple workout. I'll make a big breakfast, go over there, do fight call, talk with everybody. We're all talking about like the election year, politics. You take a deep breath because you know you're about to go on this huge epic day. The Streetcar Named Desire, our production of it is, is three hours and 20 minutes with two intermissions. You get out of costume, Mandy comes down, checks in with us if we have any notes for her, if anything went awry. So we're gonna get an hour and a half before we have to come back and do Death of a Salesman. I'll come here, I'll crash, I'll take a 20 minute nap and then I'll wake up and I'll shift gears and do Death of a Salesman. I wake up, I grab some food, and I hop in the shower and then I go next door, get some more coffee, maybe another emergency get in bed as, as Happy Loman. And then after that show, you know, you have a drink at Vinny's bar, you kind of reflect. Just like in any family, you have ups and downs. You know, not everybody's gonna be on and up and you know optimistic and in a positive attitude. But we lift each other up or we give each other space. When you have that much proximity, you feel everybody's energy, you hear everybody's conversation, and you can tell when someone's being quiet and somebody's kind of going through something and you kind of give them their space or you lift them up and there's, we're constantly checking in with each other. I don't think I've really <laughs> talked about it a lot. And when I think about the family that we have and I think about everybody I'm working with and the work that we're doing, I'm just in such awe of everybody. So much of what keeps these people together and what is bringing the worst and the best out of these people is love and his family in this sense of, I'm, I'm here fighting you because I love you. And this is bringing this out of me because I wanna fight for our future as a family. And that goes for the Loman family as well as the Kowalskis and the Duboises. And that's very much at the core of what this company of actors has. And it's really breathtaking when I think about it. It's, uh, yeah, I get a little, I get a little clipped. Show everybody. Good job.